For a treat, preferably cat food, this snout can be programmed to find just about anything, mold, bed bugs, cancer. Now it could change the course of coronavirus detection. Meet Kussi. Rescued from being euthanized as a puppy in Spain, he's returned that favor for years, sniffing out deadly disease for the Wise Nose Smell Detection Association in Finland. As COVID-19 began to spread, Kussi was asked as an experiment to try to detect it. It took it about seven minutes to figure out that, okay, this is what they want me to look out for. So that totally blew our minds. Have you ever seen a dog be able to change training sense in seven minutes? No, no. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> the team quickly learned canines can detect a COVID-19 infection even five days before symptoms appear with almost 100% accuracy. Helsinki Airport is hosting a pilot project through December that will include cross-referencing canine results with those from medical devices. Like it needs to touch the skin cell here. It just takes a simple swab from a wrist or neck. That's good. And then, and then just the jar, yes. Then just wait a couple of seconds. A dog can tell immediately if a person has contracted coronavirus. All right, thank you. So I received a negative uh, result. The voluntary tests are proving popular, but no okay. positive signal yet from the Finnish government about scaling up the program. So since dogs are incredibly more effective, much less expensive and far less intrusive than other ways of detecting the virus, why aren't public authorities everywhere rushing to use their noses instead of ours? We found one who is. Timo Arenkytte is deputy mayor of Vanta, the site of the airport. I considered it in two minutes. It took me two minutes. Arunkutta's budget covers the free tests offered to all arriving passengers. He allocated 330,000 euros total to the four-month dog study. Meanwhile, he expects it will cost up to 3 million euros per month for the medical option, the nasal swab. It's quite expensive operation, of course. And the dogs are like 75,000 now a month. Arunkutta says the data from this study should help bring in federal funds for expansion of canine testing as well as legal adjustments to upgrade the virus-sniffing dog's authority to that of their counterparts working in customs. We can have like uh, multi-dogs, which have like, uh, they can smell hasis and they can smell COVID both. Anna Hilm Björkman is thinking far beyond airports. We could uh, train dogs with the same samples, with the same trainers, to open up, um, you know, the, the concert halls or or big uh, fairs, or go to m big working places, hospitals, elderly homes, football matches, whatever. Both Helm Bjorkman and Pavilan and warn, if Finland doesn't harness the potential of the dog program itself, they'll unleash it elsewhere. We can move because Kirsi loves warm weather. She says health authorities from all over the world want to learn what these noses know.